I hope and pray that each of you had a wonderful Christmas. And also, I hope that you've uh, you had a, a good New Year's Day. But I wish for each of you uh, a wonderful beginning, but also all in between the, the beginning and the end of 2023. I pray that we that each of us has a wonderful year. I pray that we are challenged to to uh, to love the Lord in a deeper sense, clearer than we've ever uh, had before on knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to uh, just challenge you here uh, today with uh, just a few thoughts, just uh, thinking about how. Uh, important we are to God. Uh, in the book of Genesis records where uh, everything was null and void. It was just a just a tremendous void there. Uh, and God created and he started the creation. And you and I were his treasured or jewel of all creation. And that is that we were formed in the likeness of our of our of our Lord. Let me share just a few verses with you here today. Um, I'm going to read out of Genesis, the first chapter. I'm going to begin reading with verse 26, if I may. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth. And over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Now let's stop right there for just a moment. Where God is saying uh, that you and I have been created in uh, his own image. In his likeness. What an honor that God bestowed upon us that you and I would be created uh, in his likeness. Uh I hope that you're going to realize as we begin this 2023 of just how important each of us that we are to God. God values us. He sought to uh, grant to us uh, all the earth and dominion thereof, but also uh, something as sin entered the world, God didn't throw us away. He didn't turn his back on us, but God had a plan, and it was going to be uh, uh, so many years, hundreds of thousands, uh, hundreds of years uh, later, that uh, the plan that God had for us to uh, bring us back into a right relationship with him was going to be his, a part of him, and that was his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, a part of the Trinity, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, so I wanted us to look here as we begin, I think of no better way to begin uh, 2023 uh, 20, than, than for you and I to refocus and realize that God created us in his own image and in his own likeness. Let me share with you uh, a couple more verses here, if I may. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the, over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. What a blessing it is to realize just exactly how much that God truly loves us. He loves us so much, so dearly. And you and I today, I hope that we're going to realize uh, that uh, God values us uh, beyond our means to even fathom the importance that God has placed upon us. That God himself would uh, be offered sacrifice, to be a sacrifice 
for yours and my sins so that you and I could uh, not only live upon this earth and enjoy the fruits thereof and the animals that God had created, but that we could enter heaven and live with, uh, with our Heavenly Father forever. Folks, that ought to bring us to such a point, to such a degree, that we're going to seek to walk closer with uh, our Heavenly Father this year than we've ever walked before, that we're going to see life in a different uh, way, uh, in a different perspective of realizing that we've, we're important to God. Uh, we're his prized creation. We're the jewel of creation. And that God uh, created in, in God's own image, in his likeness, and placed here with responsibilities of tending the earth and uh, being, being here to uh, having dominion over all the rest of the creation. Uh, what a value that God has placed upon each of us. And if God treasures us in such a manner, then why should we even imagine uh, not letting God uh, be the most important figure in our lives? Because God is He's Lord of all. He's Lord of us. He has provided not only this beautiful world which we can live in and we have we have polluted it, and we have certainly, indeed, allowed evil to uh, to come into uh, into our lives and to the lives of others around. And yet, God still loves us, and He still cares for us greatly. And we're still created in God's image and God's likeness. And God provided a way for us to live eternally. And if God provided and loved us that much and provided that much, why would we turn anywhere else other than to allow? our Heavenly Father, to allow Him to uh, be Lord of our lives, one and only, not just uh, at a, upon a, an occasion uh, or just at a time of convenience, but that He would be Lord of our lives, Lord of every step that we take, of every word that we utter, that God is going to be Lord of our lives. So let me challenge you as we begin 2023 to let him be Lord of your life and the lives of your family. Live by an example. Set that example for your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, that they may know just how valuable they are in the eyes of God. God loves them and he loves us so very much. Pray with me, if you would, for just a moment. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for uh, this day as we begin a new year, 2023, as Christmas now has come and gone of 2022, and we've enjoyed it. But yet, Father, uh, you are treasured above all, and that Christ, as we celebrated Christ's birthday just a few weeks ago, oh Lord, thank you, Father, that you sent Christ into this world. And because of that, I can know for certain where I'm going to spend eternity. And that is with you because I know Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Hear every prayer, every thought that we may have, Lord, uh, speak to our hearts and help us to walk closer to you. Now lead, guide, and direct us, Father, and keep us safe now. And uh, on this coming Sunday, Lord, may uh, we be well and may we be, be in your house worshiping you. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you. Take care.